Hi friends, namaste and welcome. Today is day 15, melt your stress away. Today's practice is all about gratitude. Let's move, breathe, open up our heart and express gratitude for all the blessings that we have in our lives. When you're ready, let's begin. For this practice, you will need a yoga strap. If you don't have a yoga strap, grab a belt, a scarf, a t-shirt, a towel, something that you have near you, and one yoga log. When you're ready, we will begin on our backs. In Baddha Konasana, keeping the block near you, soles of your feet to touch, knees falling apart place one hand to your belly one hand to your heart close your eyes let's begin to scan our body from the toes all the way upward to the crown of your head as you're relaxing tuning into the breath and bringing awareness to how you feel right now at this moment which body parts need a little bit more love and attention from you today? Softening everything and letting the breath to take over. Feeling your, be your belly and chest rising with each inhale falling with each exhale and each cycle of breath let's try to create it a little bit more fuller deeper using the full capacity of your lungs and then letting go igniting our ujjayi breath keeping the body still, the breath steady. I'm inviting you to repeat a mantra with me. I am grateful for all the blessings in my life. I am grateful for all the blessings in my life. I am grateful for all the blessings in my life. I am grateful. I am thankful. I am blessed. I am grateful. I am thankful. I am blessed. I am grateful. I am thankful. I am blessed. Take a deep breath in, in through your nose. Open mouth, sigh it out. Let your gratitude to flow into the universal energy. Sharing all your gratitude and blessings with the world. Now keep breathing in and out through your nose and find a few moments of complete stillness. Choose any mantra that you want to repeat or maybe express gratitude for whatever you are grateful for today. We will take three more breaths. Mm. 
Last full breath in all together. And then open mouth, side out. Let's repeat all together. I am grateful for all the blessings in my life. Inhale, reach the arms overhead, take a nice full body stretch. And as you exhale, like a book, begin to close your knees one towards each other. Keep your feet hip distance apart, drop the knees to one side, then the other. Feeling that divine sensation in our hip flexors. Express gratitude for your hip flexors, that you have them and you can feel them for the sensation that you are feeling right now in this moment. Beautiful. And place your feet hip distance apart. Go ahead and grab your block. You can do the same exercise without the block. Bridge pose. Lift your hips up and place the block underneath your sacrum. You can use the highest height of the block, medium or low. Depends how deep you want to go right away. Then again, bring the arms alongside your body and just relax here. If you are not using a block, relax your glute muscles, keep lifting the hips high and up and try to soften as much as you can. We will take your five breaths, allowing our lower back slowly, gently open up. Breathing, nice, steady, deep breaths in and out through your nose. I'm grateful for all the blessings in my life. If something pops up into the mind that you would like to express gratitude for, go for it. from very little, little things to very big, big things. One more full breath in and out. Very nice. Lift your hips up, remove the block and slowly one vertebra at a time, make your way down to the mat. Bring the knees toward each other and just take here one cycle of breath. Inhale. Open mouth. Exhale. Again, open the knees again. We will take one more bridge pose. As you inhale, lift the hips up without the block this time. Relax your glutes. Lift the hips higher. Arms resting by your side. Palms facing down or upward. You choose. Five breaths. Notice the difference in the sensation when you're using a supportive bridge pose or when you use your own muscles to hold you up. Express gratitude for that. That you are able to feel that difference. That you are able to use your own body to create sensations, to open up the body and make yourself to feel good. Take a breath in, open mouth. Slowly lower one vertebra at a time, hug the knees into the chest, and then begin to rock and roll back and forward, back and forward, cross your ankles, come up to sit it, and then scoop back, make your way into a tabletop position. Bring your shoulders over wrist, hips over your knees. Right away, let's begin with cat cow. Dip the belly down, lift the gaze up. Exhale, push the earth away, chin to chest, round your upper back. Inhale, cow. Open your heart, arch your back. Exhale, curl in, contract your core, round your upper back. Keep moving, inhale. Exhale, really exaggerating with each movement here. Inhale, exhale, three more. Inhale, exhale, breathing in and out. 
inhale and then exhale come back to a neutral spine let's extend the right arm in front of you engage your core and the lift leg back behind you i want you to lift your arm and leg and as you exhale curl in knee with elbow to touch inhale lift as high as you can exhale curl in inhale up exhale tuck and curl two more inhale exhale inhale exhale beautiful inhale extend kick the left heel to your bum reach the arm back behind you grab your foot tiger pose kick the heel into your hand kick skyward lift your heart take a breath in and out beautiful slowly let go ground your right hand down and let's open up into a side plank so you can pivot your right shin bone parallel to the front of your mat reach up lift your hips now kick the left heel to your bum reach behind grab the foot cast your heart forward kick the foot back take a breath in and out inhale extend exhale back into your tabletop extend the right leg back behind you left arm in front of you lift as high as you can inhale exhale tuck and curl inhale lift exhale curl in three more two and one inhale extend kick the heel to the bum grab your foot kick it up tiger pose lift through your heart kick the heel all the way skyward take a breath in and out slowly release bring your left hand down pivot your left chin bone parallel to the front of your mat extend the right arm up and fire the side plank modified side plank lift everything up find a lot of engagement in your fingers and your foot kick the right foot to your bum grab the foot and then let's take here a dancer variation as you're casting the heart forward kicking the heel back full breath in and out inhale extend exhale make your way back into tabletop tuck your toes under send the hips high and up downward facing dog find a complete stillness for a moment bend the knees lift your sitting ones up shoulders away from your ears take a breath in let it go then straighten the legs as much as is accessible to you and again find a complete stillness close your eyes for a moment repeat with me i am grateful for all the blessings in my life now from here let's begin to invite movement bending one knee then the other knee moving with the breath find stillness in your down dog inhale sweep your right heel up high single leg down dog then let's bend the knee and open the hip so your right knee pointing upward and bring knee to chest and then open back up big circles knee to chest open back up one more and then switch the direction circle 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 beautiful then go ahead open up and then begin to shift all the way to your left arm as you're flipping the dog wild thing take it easy on the first time lift your hips lift your heart drop the gaze all the way to the earth take a breath in and as you exhale you're gonna ground your right hand down and bring the right knee to your left tricep <laughs> extend the leg falling triangle shift the weight to your right arm left arm comes up inhale open through the heart exhale i want you to sink your sitting bones all the way down bring the left arm back behind you sweep the right arm across your face lift up exhale sink down right arm back to its place inhale lift up 
falling triangle exhale ground your left hand down and bring your right knee to your nose look up step your right foot in between the hands drop your left knee down low lunge inhale sweep the arms up connect your palms bring the biceps in line with your ears sink low good and plug the hands to your heart keeping your right forearm on the right thigh kick the left heel to your bum catch your foot and take here a nice quad stretch take a breath in and out letting go ground both of your hands lift your left knee up inhale step your left foot forward find halfway lengthen through the spine and as you exhale fold forward uttanasana inhale come up to standing mountain pose reach the arms up exhale hands to heart inhale mountain pose adding a back bend here exhale fold forward uttanasana inhale halfway to lengthen exhale your choice of vinyasa step hop back lower halfway or maybe all the way chaturanga upward facing dog inhale downward facing dog exhale inhale reach your left heel up high single leg down dog bend the knee open your hip good then try the knee to chest and circle back up knee to chest circle up knee to chest circle up switch the direction moving with the breath very nice inhale open up begin to shift the weight to the right arm as you gracefully flipping your dog kamakrasana inhale exhale ground your left hand down left knee right tricep from here you're gonna begin to extend that right leg into falling triangle of right arm comes up take a breath in as you exhale sink the sitting bones down right hand behind you left arm up inhale lift open up exhale sink left arm back to the place inhale right arm across your face exhale right hand down knee to your forehead inhale bring the gaze forward exhale step your left foot in between your hands drop your right knee down inhale reach your arms up Anjaneyasana exhale sink down and low breathe exhale hands to heart good rest your left forearm on your left thigh kick the right heel to the glute and then squeeze it in stretching the quad full cycle of breath inhale exhale letting go beautiful inhale halfway to lengthen right foot comes forward long spine exhale fold uttanasana inhale come up mountain pose exhale hands to your heart inhale mountain pose with a back bend drop the gaze back hips forward exhale uttanasana forward fold halfway length and inhale and your vinyasa high to low plank exhale upward facing breathe in downward facing breathe out one simple flow of sun a inhale look up exhale step or hop your feet in between your hands halfway to lengthen exhale fold forward inhale come up mountain pose exhale hands to heart inhale reach the arms up give me deeper back bend this time exhale fold forward inhale halfway exhale your vinyasa step or hop back upward facing dog inhale downward facing dog exhale take a cleansing in breath 
and side out open mouth good close your eyes for a moment let's come back to our mantra i am grateful for all the blessings in my life now i want you to take a moment to find your blessings and express gratitude for them your family your health being alive anything that are your blessings and now let's repeat the holiest mantra ever thank you thank you thank you thank you for all my blessings inhale sweep your right heel up high single leg down dog bend the knee open the hip and go ahead and flip your dog come across now try to go a little bit deeper with your back bend this time exhale look down ground your right hand right knee left tricep <sighs> extend falling triangle inhale lift up exhale sink the sitting bones down inhale right arm up lift exhale sink inhale left arm exhale ground your left hand knee to your forehead inhale look up exhale foot in between your hands drop the knee down inhale anjaneyasana low lunge as you exhale you're gonna tuck your left toes under and then lift into high crescent lunge take a breath here letting go next inhale you're gonna hinge forward take it take a flight to warrior three open the arms bring your chest parallel to the floor find your breath now here i gotta challenge you my friends you're gonna kick your left heel to your bum reach behind grab it with your left hand and then the right hand and then come up to standing as you interlocking all ten fingers around your left calf then begin to kick the foot into the hand as you're lifting your heart strengthening the arms set your gaze your drishti in front of you feel that opening in the chest in your upper back feels so good and if you're dancing like me smile and try it again take a breath in and out soften the right knee draw your left knee into your chest let's give it a hug inhale exhale draw that foot again back behind you into dancer's pose grab the inner arch of your foot inhale right arm up lengthen exhale kick kick and kick steady breath steady drishti just breathe and smile one more breath inhale exhale again left knee to chest hug it in exhale both feet to touch inhale reach your arms up find a back bend exhale fold forward uttanasana inhale halfway to lengthen exhale step back to plank pose and pause all right bring your feet to touch bring the right arm to the middle of the mat pivot on your right feet sweep the left arm up vashistasana side plank if you need to modify you're gonna lower down to your bottom knee as we didn't modify it side plank you're gonna kick your left heel to your bum reach behind you grab the foot and then kick it back cast your heart forward very nice keep lifting the hips as high as you can if you're wobbling falling great that's how we build strength with smile 
Try it again. One more breath. Letting go. Find a plank pose and go through a vinyasa. Lower halfway. <sighs> Upward facing. Inhale. Downward facing. Exhale. Take a breath in. Let it out. Remember, whenever you need to take a child's pose, just pause the video, take a child's pose, maybe a sip of water, and then join us whenever you're ready. Moving on the left side, inhale, sweep your left heel up high, single leg down dog. Bend the knee, open the hip, go ahead and flip your dog, come across and inhale. Exhale, lift hand down, lift knee right tricep, extend the leg. Inhale, um, falling triangle, right arm up. Exhale, sink, right arm behind you. Inhale, left arm, lift up. Exhale, sink. Left hand to place. Inhale, right arm up. Lift the hips even higher. Exhale, ground your hand, lift knee to chest. <laughs> Inhale, bring the gaze forward. Exhale, step the foot in between the hands. Drop your right knee down. Inhale, crescent moon. Sweep the arms up. Connect your palms. Open the heart. Find a back bend. Tuck your right toes under. Inhale. Exhale, lift up into a crescent lunge. High crescent lunge. Beautiful. Sink nice and deep. Relax the shoulders. Take a breath in and out. Next inhale, warrior three. Hinge forward, take a flight, open your arms. Bringing your torso parallel to the earth. Palms facing down, a lot of energy through the fingers. Full breath in and out. Kick the right heel to your bum. Reach the right arm behind you, grab your ankle. Come up to standing, reach the left arm behind you. Interlock all 10 fingers. And as you inhale, begin to kick the foot into your hands as you're strengthening the arms and lifting up through your heart. Very nice. Take a breath in. And out. Slowly letting go, draw the right knee to chest, give it a hug, inhale, exhale, float it back behind you, dancer pose, grab the inner arch of your foot, inhale, left arm up, exhale, kick the foot into the hand. Try not to collapse your torso, keep lifting up, kicking up, steady breath, Inhale, exhale, good, draw the right knee back to your chest, inhale, hug it in, exhale, both foot to the earth, inhale, reach your arms up, find a back bend, exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana, inhale, halfway to lengthen, Exhale your choice of vinyasa, high to low plank. <sighs> Upward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Cleansing in breath. Let it out. We're gonna keep moving. If you need child's pose, press the pause button. Inhale, right heel up high. Bend the knee, open the hip, flip your dog. Beautiful. Look down, exhale, right hand down, right knee, lift tricep. Extend the leg, falling triangle, inhale. Exhale, sink down, switch the arms. Inhale, right arm across your face, hips high. Exhale, fold, switch. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lift him down, right knee to forehead. Inhale, look up. 
exhale step the foot in between your hands right away into high crescent lunge inhale rise up sink low exhale take it to flight warrior three pause reconnect with the breath express gratitude for something right now right here good bring the gaze down sprinkle your right fingers down left arm up finding half moon pose or the chandrasana big breath in big breath out kick the left heel to your bum reach the arm behind you chapasana so now you're gonna kick that left heel to the right as you opening your heart to the left kind of like the same as we did in our side plank breathing and out now grab the foot from the inside inner arch and kick it up and heart forward inhale exhale letting go back to half moon soften the right knee down and then stepping into warrior two ah thanks god both feet on the mat sink low breathe in breathe out inhale reverse your warrior right arm across the ear line keep pressing that right knee forward travel your left fingers down your left leg take a breath in as you exhale you're gonna bend your right knee eh, elbow reach the left arm back behind you and interlock your fingers if that's accessible if not you're gonna grab onto your shirt finding a bind pointing that right elbow skyward sinking deeper into the lunge inhale and as you exhale you're gonna humble forward hinge from the hips and drop that right shoulder inside your right knee feeling that juicy divine stretch in our shoulders full breath in full breath out inhale come up back into reverse warrior unlock your grip exhale warrior two inhale hinge forward back into half moon pose exhale spring your left fingers down square off the hips and make sure that your left toes pointing down going into revolt half moon bring your right hand to the right hip spiral your chest to the right and then extend your right arm up breathe in breathe out kick your left heel to your bum bridge behind you grab the inner arch of the foot soften the right knee and begin to come up into revolved dancer pose kick the heel to your hand left arm up heart forward big breath in big breath out slowly letting go fold forward and find a standing splits here now i'll give you a few options maybe you would like to take here a crow pose maybe headstand maybe forearm stand or maybe a few hops into a headstand handstand so just one minute of play of any arm balance or inversion that you wish to i'm gonna go into a handstand if you are with me ground the hands spider your fingers shoulders over wrist soften the right knee and begin to hop as you're kicking the right heel to your glute maybe finding a little bit air time <laughs> 
and when it's enough you're gonna come down both feet to touch inhale halfway lengthen exhale fold forward inhale halfway lengthen exhale take your vinyasa high to low plank upward facing dog inhale downward facing dog exhale let's take a moment here to close the eyes reconnect with the breath and with our intention with our mantra i am grateful for all the blessings in my life i'm grateful for this moment for my practice so just for whatever you are grateful guys close the eyes and express your gratitude take another deep breath in and out lower down to your knees camel pose ustrasana you can keep your toes tucked or untuck your toes lift up to kneeling position hands to the lower back squeeze your elbows toward each other lift up through the heart and begin to bring the hips forward slowly drop the head back drop your gaze see how it feels if you feel okay begin to bring your hands to the heels or stay as you are three breaths one more breath hands to your lower back lower the sitting ones down to the heels and then lift your gaze hands to your thighs take a breath in and out ground the hands downward facing dog moving on the left side inhale lift heel up high single leg down dog bend the knee open the hip go ahead and flip your dog take it deeper exhale lift hand down lift knee right tricep extend the leg falling triangle inhale right arm up exhale sink down switch the arms inhale lift your hips lift arm across your face exhale lower inhale right arm across your face exhale ground the right hand knee to forehead inhale look up exhale step the foot in between your hands inhale come up high crescent lunge sink low on the exhale take it to the flight warrior three pause and breathe begin to ignite the sensation in your standing foot palms facing down flex your toes flex your foot breathe in breathe out sprinkle the left fingers down to the mat take it into a half moon pose right arm reaches up stacking the hips stacking the shoulders take a breath in and take a breath out good chapasana sugar cane kick the right heel to the glute grab your ankle now kick the foot back and cast your heart forward keep kicking back reaching the chest forward very nice full cycle of breath inhale exhale now bring the hand to the inner arch of the foot and then kick it up as you're bringing your heart forward very nice breathe in breathe out soften the left knee let go of your foot open up into half moon inhale exhale landing warrior two <sighs> sit deep and low reach through the fingers shoulders right over the hip bones inhale find more depth as you exhale 
reverse your warrior breath in left arm across your face sliding the right fingers down the right leg full breath in full breath out bend your left arm point the elbow up reach the right arm behind you you can grab onto the shirt or try to connect your fingers into a bind stay low pointing that elbow skyward take a breath in exhale humble forward drop your left shoulder inside your left knee pause and breathe one more breath inhale exhale next inhale lifts you up back into reverse warrior point the elbow up and then extend the arms exhale warrior two <sighs> inhale reach forward take it back into half moon pose exhale sprinkle the right fingers down square off the hips right toes pointing down so foundation of warrior three pose which is going to take it into revolved half moon you're going to ground your right fingers left hand to your left hip and then spiral your chest to the left extend the left arm up full breath in full breath out kick that right heel to your bum reach behind grab your foot revolved dancers pose set the gaze in front of you soften your left knee and then use your core to lift up as you're reaching the right arm skyward, skyward and then kicking the right heel back behind you. Full breath in. Full breath out. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the gaze down, sprinkle the right fingers down, extend your right, right leg skyward, standing split. Bow over your standing leg. Soften the breath. Just to enjoy the moment. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, bring the right foot down. So one minute of any play that you want. Um, arm balance, crow pose, headstand, forearm stand, or join me for a few haps of a headstand. Handstand, oh my gosh. I'm just confusing all the words. Anyways, so my left side is the side that I don't like because it's challenging, but we must work on both sides. So if you're ready, shoulders over hands, ground the heels of your hands, spider your fingers, bend into the left leg and begin to hop as you're bringing the knee to chest, maybe finding a little bit air time. How surprisingly. All right, if you're falling, smile, try again yeah it's a play time so enjoy it all right and when you're done both feet to touch inhale find halfway Lengthen, exhale, we will take a vinyasa flow, high to low plank. <sighs> Upward facing, inhale. And downward facing, exhale. Breathe in. And out. Drop down to the knees. One more round of camel pose. Maybe you would like to untuck your toes this time hands to the lower back squeeze your elbows toward each other lift up to the heart hips forward drop the gaze back take a breath in and as you exhale hands to heels five breaths this time
hands to lower back, lower the sitting ones to heels, lift your head, hands to your thighs, cleansing breath in, let go open mouth, very good, go ahead and find your strap, back to downward facing dog, full breath in, and out, walk the hands towards your feet, Soften the knees, roll up to standing. And we will work towards our king pigeon, king dancer pose. <laughs> All right, so holding onto the strap or your scarf or belt, step the right foot in, and then the strap gonna hook around your left foot. Arms straight shifting all the way to the right foot and then begin to kick the left foot back behind you and there is an option to roll your hands onto the, onto the strap now elbows comes in then forward then up then you're gonna hold the strap with both of your hands and kick it up trying to hold the arms straight just for now to open up the upper back Notice the sensation. If you feel like you can go deeper, you're gonna walk the, the hands on the strap and kick it a little bit higher. So elbows pointing forward, hard up. You need more, walk, walk, and kick. Beautiful, keep trying this variation watch out be careful <laughs> mindful with your movement if you want to try without the strap coming into a flip grip so your left elbow pointing to the side like you're holding a tray now from here you're gonna kick the foot and grab from the inside then inhale lift the elbow to the side and then point up <laughs> see how it feels right arm comes behind you walking the hand on the other arm till you can go ahead and grab the foot with your better both hands straighten the right leg kick up open your heart <sighs> full breath in and out Slowly soften the right knee, let go of one arm, and gracefully letting go. That was not graceful, that was too fast. So be really mindful. A little bit sway side to side. And we'll repeat this on the other side. So grab your strap, step your left foot in, and then let the strap to rest on your right foot. I'm losing my balance and my breath so make sure that you reconnecting with the breath when you need inhale exhale then begin to kick the foot into the strap elbows comes to the side then forward then up kicking up see how it feels this way feel you can go deeper Begin to walk the hands on the strap. Walking, walking, kicking higher. Very nice. Breathe. You can stay here or repeat this variation one more time. If you want to try the flip grip, right elbow to your side body, like you're holding a tray, kicking the foot to your bum, and then grabbing from the inner arch of the foot. So my fingers comes to the inner arch of the foot, then elbow pointing sideward, then I rolling up, kicking, left hand comes up, grabbing the foot with both hands, 
and extending. Full breath in, full breath out, slowly letting go, a little bit squeeze, I just said. And this is a very advanced pose, something to work on. It took me years to get into a full grip holding my foot with both hands. So I'm showing you this as a motivation if this is something that you would like to experience in your practice. If not, don't break a sweat. Work with this strap, it's just a very nice chest and shoulder opening. Feels very good and really opens your heart to bring more gratitude. And I love doing this big heart openers. Fit hip distance apart. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Fold forward, soften the knees, grab the opposite elbows, and let's find here a ragdoll position. Just sway side to side. Feel how the skin stretching in your lower back after this deep back bend pose. Let go of your grip, inhale halfway lengthen, exhale walk your hands back into downward facing dog. Let's take one cleansing in breath and let it out. Inhale come high to your toes, ripple forward, find a plank pose, feet to touch. Shift the weight to your right arm, vashistas on a side plank, left arm comes up. Good, let's take another dancer variation here. You're gonna kick that left heel to the bum, grab behind, open up. See if you can go deeper right now. Inhale, exhale. Good, ground your left hand down and then step your left foot forward into a pigeon pose. Drop the shin bone down. Wiggle side to side, square off the hips, checking with the right leg, nice and straight. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, fold forward into sleeping pigeon. Just relax. I am grateful for all the blessings in my life. What are your blessings? Go ahead and express gratitude for each and every one of them. You're welcome to stay in pigeon pose or come up and take a mermaid. So kicking the right heel to the bum, reaching the arm behind, bringing the foot to the elbow crease. Inhale, left arm up, exhale, bend the elbow, connect the palms. Now you can use your strap here. If mermaid pose is still not accessible to you, you're gonna hold the strap with your left arm and then allow it to hang and you're gonna hold on to the strap this way. And then you can try to walk, 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 your hands closer, closer to each other till one day you will be able to interlock your fingers. Keep squaring the hips to the front, lifting up through your heart. Breathe in and out. Stay here in Mermaid or take a King Pigeon Pose. So again, like you're holding a tray with your right arm, then you're gonna grab the inner arch of the foot, elbow goes up. You can do the same with the strap, just create a loop in your strap, hook around, elbow to the side, and then up. 
and then you can hold it right here with both of your hands. Full breath in, full breath out. Slowly letting go. Tuck your right toes under and then step into plank pose, feet to touch. Good, shift the weight to the left arm, pivot the feet to the left. Inhale, sweep your right arm up, kick the heel to your bum, take it into a dancer pose. Dancer side plank. Find a deeper expression here. Breathing in and out. Then look down, step the right foot to the middle and then walk the foot to the left, drop the shin bone down. Pigeon pose. Adjust yourself. Again, notice each side feels different. So maybe on this side you need to take a little bit longer to find a perfect alignment before you're gonna drop down to your forearms. Breathe in and as you breathe out, fold and surrender. You're welcome to stand pigeon for another seven to 10 breaths or so. If you wanna go into a mermaid, make your way up to a straight arms, kick the left heel to your bum, and then bring the foot into your elbow crease. Inhale, right arm up, exhale, interlock your fingers, or use your yoga strap with the right arm, hanging here, and you catching with both of the hands. Heart up, gaze up, inhale, exhale. Stand mermaid or king pigeon, holding a tray, reaching behind, grabbing the inner arch of the foot, elbow to the side, then all the way up or use your strap. Hook the strap around your foot, elbow to the side, and then rotate up, holding the strap with both hands. Breathe steady. One more cycle of breath, inhale. Exhale. Slowly letting go. Good. And then let's step into downward facing dog this time. Pedal up the legs, stretch out your back. Find any movement, bend the knees a lot, wiggle the hips side to side. Take a big breath in and out. Look up, walk the feet to the front of your mat and then have a seat. Extend the legs in front of you, sit it forward fold. If we have the strap with us today, let's use it. So grab the strap with both of your hands Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hinge forward and then hook the strap around your feet. Now, come back into L shape, so shoulders over hips. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, begin to draw the elbows to your side body. 
as you casting the heart forward, maybe you need to walk the hands onto the strap. Maintaining a long, long spine till one day you can go ahead and grab the feet, keeping a long spine and then bring the forehead down to your shin bones. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly roll up to sit it, bend the knees, scoop yourself forward, come down onto the back, hug the knees to the chest, take a happy baby pose. Let's massage our back. Then bring the left knee on top of the right, eagle your legs. Send the hips to the left, drop the knees to the right, and extend your left arm to the side. Eagle supine twist. Close your eyes. I am grateful for all the blessings in my life. What are your blessings? This is your time to express gratitude for all your blessings. Go for it. Now repeat with me. I am grateful. I am thankful. I am blessed. Make your way back to center. Unwrap the legs. Give a little sway side to side. Reset. And then right knee on top of the left. Bring the feet down. Scoop your hips to the right. Let the knees to fall to the left. Open your right arm to the side. Again, close your eyes. Tune into the breath. I am grateful for all the blessings in my life. What are your blessings? Repeat with me. I am grateful. I am thankful. I am blessed. Make your way back to center. Hug the knees to the chest. Give a little sway. Naturalize your back. Then curl into a tiny little ball. Forehead to your knees. Inhale. Exhale, let's make our way into Shavasana. Heels to the corners of your mat, arms alongside your body. Palms facing upward to receive more blessings into our lives. Just relax. Let your body to digest your practice, to create a muscle memory, to enjoy of all the new space that you've created today in your practice. And to thank you for creating time to take care of the body. Your job is to relax and let all the goodness get in.
While you are relaxing in your Shavasana, I would like to read you a beautiful quote by Melody Betty. Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos to order, confusion to clarity. It can turn a meal into a feast, a house into a home, a stranger into a friend. Gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace for today and creates a vision for tomorrow. Repeat with me. I am grateful for all the blessings in my life. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. I am blessed. You're welcome to stay in Shavasana a little bit longer. If you're ready to wake up, bring energy back to your toes your fingers inhale reach the arms overhead nice full body stretch hug the knees into the chest sway side to side and just find your favorite way to come up into a comfortable seat plug the hands to your heart Close your eyes and let's repeat the holiest mantra in the world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What are you grateful for today? Just begin to say thank you for whatever your heart is grateful for today. Now stop and repeat again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. With gratitude, bring your thumbs to your third eye, center of your intuition. I bow to you, my dear friends. Namaste. Thank you for sharing your beautiful presence and energy with me, with the world. Thank you for allowing me to do what I love the most, which is to teach yoga. Thank you for all your love. Thank you for all your support. I love you so much and you make me so happy. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. All right, my friends, let me know how did you enjoy this practice today. And if you did like the practice, don't forget thumbs up and leave me something lovely in the comments below. And I will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.